Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this video is part one of many uh, that I'll be uh, recording and sharing with everyone. Uh, so far, I have been searching for tutorials on Objective C, iOS, um, within iPhones and iPads and all those devices uh, using web services and I have not found one that is clear and easy to follow so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on showing you how you can uh, use uh, WSDL web services how you can convert it into an Objective-C uh, types so that's this video is what's gonna cover how can you convert WSDL to Objective-C? Um, in future videos, I'm going to be using uh, uh, ASP.NET with a WSDL and also with a regular uh, web services using SOAP. So I'm going to get started showing you how you can do that. But before we get started, uh, you need to know that uh, this article that I found gave me the idea on how to start. So this is not the perfect solution, but will give you a good start. So if you go to the, that website that I have, uh, the first link that I have in this PowerPoint presentation, you see that you need to go there and you need to check it out. It will give you... Uh, step by step um, also you need to download uh, the tool that you need it's a free tool and I'm gonna stop this guy now and show you what I mean so here's the article not sure how I found it but it tells you what you need to do first step one you need to download so you need to follow all this and add it out to your Xcode. So I already have that tool and it's really easy to use. So I'm gonna go, oops, wrong place, to the download. There we go, right here. Download and this is the tool. I already used it so it's pretty, I know that it works. So that's why I'm making this video. So right now I took a WSDL that I found. It's NetSuite and there's a WSDL that's how I know that it's the file that I need and right here I just say okay I'm gonna dump all the files in this folder now I haven't used this option yet but I, I left it without it I tried it without it so once you have that you click parse WSDL depending on the size of this WSDL uh, it will take a few minutes now once that's done, I'm gonna quit this guy. So here's the where I saved it. Once that's done, you see that it's a bunch of files. Now that depends on the web services. If the web service is simple, it might not have that many files. Now this is I found some tools that also do this, uh, but they were so expensive, so it doesn't even makes sense to spend like $700 to get this so this free tool kind of did it it might not be perfect I haven't tested all but so far it's been working so that's what you need to do to get started make sure you get the free tool make sure you go to that website it basically tells you uh, what to do <clears throat> uh, make sure you don't skip any step like step for example, this step 4B, make sure you don't uh, skip that one. If you're using the latest uh, Xcode, you already have this library. So all you need to do is add it to your uh, libraries. Uh, you don't need to do none of this or this. I, at least I didn't do it because I already have the latest. I did include this step 4D. Make sure you follow that one. 
and 4e. Now starting on 4f, I didn't follow this because I don't have these web services. I have another one that is more complex than just getting the, I think it's getting a temperature or something like that. But it's a good a way to start. So on the next video, what I'm going to be doing is doing the X, the next step on the Xcode. And once I have that, I actually need to do the ASP.NET first. So I can actually do the conversion. But at least you have a, an idea what you're expecting on the next video. So I don't know how many videos I'm going to be doing, but I'll try to keep it uh, short. So I'll come back and see part two in a few days. Thank you for watching.